Yeah. People are waiting online. Huh? Huh? We'll put pressure. We'll, we'll put pressure. Like What? Was there one more? No, right there. No, you want to? We need to get. We need to get another cable.
Shri Guru Vyo Namaha. We are delighted to start the third day of the four day Tyagaraja Swami Aradhana by Silicon Valley Lotus. We are really, really you know, indebted to Sanatan Dharma Kendra and Shri Kumar Swami Joshi Anna for the constant and consistent support over the years. We are also truly a heartfelt thank you and gratitude from the Nipa Risa Lotus team to each one of you for supporting this musical community and musical journey with Lotus for 23 years at this time. As we embark the 24th year of this musical journey with you, we really eagerly look forward to bringing something new every year not only building and sustaining of the core of the monthly concerts, but building something new, bringing new ideas to form. This year, our effort was to bring in the concept of Chetas, which is how do we improve our intellect of music? How do we have mindful conversations of music? The word Chetas was deliberately chosen as it's all about the intellect of music. And with that, we only came up with the idea. We know that Tyagaraja, while he created Tyagaraja Swami, created many, many operatic creations like Nauka Charitramu and you know, Lalgudi Pancharatnam and so on and so forth. Tyagaraja never wrote the Ramayana. He never created an operatic collection of compositions that represented Ramayana. So we humbly requested. Literally, we humbly requested the Beheria Gurus and gave them the creative liberty and the request to say, we want you to present the six kandams of Ramayana through the compositions of Tyagaraja. And I can only say the two we had, you know, the, uh, on the day one of Lotus 16th, we had two Bala Kandam and Ayodhya Kandam. We have two today and we have two more on 31st. I can confidently say the six presentations of the, of the Tyagaraja Ramayanam that you are seeing at Lotus are the most unique because there are no other interpretations of this brilliant exposition the way our gurus have done in the Bay Area. Please, a big round of thank you to them. Each of the Kandams has been a PhD thesis in itself. I really wish Stanford, Berkeley, if you are hearing me, these all these people do absolutely deserve that accolade of getting it. So we are looking. <laughs> what we know today is about. I mean, this is just hearsay, reading on you know all the all the sources that we have. What we know today of the Agaraja's compositions, they say, is about 900 to 1,000 compositions. We know. What, what we also hear or say, you know, from our readings is Tyagaraja actually had over 20,000 compositions. Can you imagine the magnitude of research that each one of them has put into this? So if we are eagerly waiting to look, you know, to hear your interpretation of Tyagaraja Ramayana's Aranya Kandam today. I would quickly introduce the artist and give you a brief of what Aranya Kandam is in the Ramayana aspect. This Kandam spans the confirmation of Vritha meeting sage Agastya, Panchavati, Ravana sending Maricha, Jatayu Moksha, and it ends at almost at Shabari Moksham and the brothers 
arriving at the Pampa Nadi. This is the third Kandam of Ramayana. Presenting this, please welcome with me Vidushi Akhila Ayer, Vidushi Praveena Varadarajan, Vidushi Vaidai Sudarshan, Vidushi Aparna Ayer. We'll, we'll, we'll invite with you when she is here. Accompanying them on the Vridhagam, Vidwan Sri Ramesh Srinivasan, Vidwan Sri Shishinvasan. Please sit back, enjoy the Ramayana through the eyes of these beautiful musicians. to everybody here. I think we've gathered here not just to listen to music but for a satsangam to enjoy Rama in a form that's embedded in Ramayana and not celebrated as much as the other khandams are. We are waiting for another artist to come so in the meantime I thought I would take the liberty to share the behind the scenes which is a popular term these days behind the scenes of where we were and how we got here. As usual, the Lotus team, as creative as they are, came up with this Ramayana Kyagaraja. The first time I heard it, I was super excited. We talked about it as a team and I guess I was naive because the rest of them said it's going to be a bit of a tough job and I said no 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 this should be easy so the same night I sought the help of things like chat GPT to say okay <laughs> tell me all the Kirtanais that have Aranya Kandam zero answer <laughs> so then I go to other uh, places like Tyagaraja Vaibhavam zero answer Zero answer because there is nothing so straightforward that says here is a song on Aranya Kanda. If you think about Patta Bishegam, there are so many songs you can take and sing about it. If you think about uh, Rama's wedding, that also we have so many. And many of them are also there in Tamil. This is only Tyagaraja. It's got to be Tyagaraja script. So then, as, it's, as it always happens, even at work, when you don't know what you're doing, you step away for a while to see what others are doing to take the lead. That's exactly what I did. But the rest of the team went on to come up with a list of songs. And they did come up with a list of 25 songs or something like that. Now, the interesting thing, yes, please. The interesting thing about the 25 songs is that if you think about how Tyagaraja tries to praise Rama in every one of the songs that he writes, there are certain things that he says in the Anupanavi, there are certain things that he concludes with in the Charanam. And so, any one of these events 
feature themselves either in the charanam or in the anupallavi so if you sing the whole song then you are covering other people's kandam which i don't think is right so we got together and said how do we present this how do we make this interesting to the audience and how do we bring about this color in the most efficient fashion and we collectively decided that we would do it uh, in uh, the form of a discourse harikatha is a big word but discourse where we try to tell the story and why we tell the story which you have probably already heard a hundred times why do you tell that well, why we tell the story we want to bring in those places where tyagaraja makes references to those events and not only just as an event but what significance does that event have to humanity what are the lessons that we learn from that so there is going to be a lot of talking the second thing we also did and i'm just trying to spend some time here because i'm waiting for the other artist uh, the second thing we did and i hope you will enjoy it that way is before singing a song or singing a portion of the song we decided that we would convey the meaning before we sing the song usually people sing the song and then say hey this is what we said in the song but here we want to convey the meaning first why because these are songs you've heard many times from very senior artists the best versions of these songs but many a times we don't really internalize the meaning or the reason why tyagaraja may have written it that way in that context so to experience why how when and then listen to the song maybe will give you a different essence to the whole song in itself so that's what we're going to do today uh, please enjoy the ride with us I am feeling like I'm ready to take this journey with Rama Sita and Lakshmana. My team here is excited, elated to be presenting the song and the story to you. While we just wait for them to come, I think he's here. Let me just quickly actually take a moment to add two more lines for you to know the people on stage. Shrimati Akhila here is the founder of Gitanjali School of Music. and she began her journey with her mother shrimati rajalakshmi murthy and her grandfather shri t k kanaka sabapati she has had the privilege of learning under shrimati annapurni bhaskar shrimati sareyu shrinivasan and further honored under the guidance of kalaima mani shri t k s t k kadir kadir velu pillai please welcome to the ayer pravina varagarajan has been teaching carnatic music to students in the bay area she is passionate about music and serves in cfa as a board member she is a software executive by profession we have a celebrity raide sudarshan begin her training under vidwan nagaraj and vidushi vasundhara vidwan hv krishnamurthy and acharya ratnakara vidwan shri neveli r santana gopalan she is the founder of bhairavi school of music please welcome raide sudarshan Vidya Ramaswamy started her initial training in Carnatic vocal in Mumbai from Shrimati Lakshmi Parathasarthi a senior disciple of Shrimati TR Balamani she is presently receiving training from Shrimati Jayanti Umesh she is the founder of Shruti Vidya Music Academy in California please welcome Vidya Ramaswamy Aparna Iyer is formally initiated into Carnatic music at an early age by her parents and aparna started learning from shrimati alamelu and then under shri h meenakshi sundaram at rasikaranjani sabha in mumbai aparna is a all india radio ranked artist she continues her learning in the bay area under shrimati asha ramesh please welcome good morning this one small correction i am not an air artist my guru is <laughs> aparna we can't wait for you to get your grade soon as well <laughs> they will be accompanied on the violin by shri s n narsimhan s n narsimhan ji began his training under shri h k venkatram and continued with shri h k narasimha murthy he is a composer and we will have a chance to listen to a composition of his at the end of this program please welcome narsimhan ji on the violin 
They are accompanied on the Vridangam by Kalaima Mani Shri Ramesh Srinivasan. He is a fine disciple of Vridangam Maestro Shri Vellurji Raman. Please welcome. And they will be joined by Shri Ganapati Raman who is on, their, on his way. Can you please announce the name of the children of the stage? I'm Vaishnavi Suresh and a I'm a student of Ms. Vaidehi Sudarshan. My name is Javela Radhakrishnan and I'm also a student of Ms. Vaidehi Sudarshan. I want to reach out to the moms, you know, so she is a teacher by herself, Mitra Narasimhan, and um, her son learns from me. So in the last 24 hours, I just sent her a few songs and I said, just learn and then just come and sing along with me. Aranya Kandam. Aranya Kandam is also known as the Forest Book, and it is the third section of the ancient epic Ramayana. In this part of the story, Lord Rama, along with his wife Sita and his loyal brother Lakshmana, embark on their exile into the forest for 14 years. The narrative begins with their departure from Ayodhya, following the orders of King Dasharatha, and continues as they journey deeper into the wilderness. During their time in the forest, Rama encounters various ascetics and mythical creatures, each offering unique challenges and ultimately lessons for humanity. In a forest, there is serenity, there is peace, there is harmony. So you can imagine that the thoughts that flow through the minds of the people who live in the forest, which is mostly the rishis, it will have to be very pristine. In Ramayana, the forest becomes a backdrop for spiritual growth and introspection. As Rama grapples with his identity and purpose as the divine incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Let us begin the program today with a Tyagaraja Kriti in praise of Lord Rama. Yevarikai Avataramu Sri Tyagaraja's bhakti towards Rama is so great that he feels like he even has to praise the enemy of Rama. He feels like Ravana deserves a mention. Because he says, where would we have the opportunity to see all this grace of Rama, but for the existence of Ravana, Maharaju, he says. It is this Ravana who brought Sri Rama to earth. So he praises Ravana as Maharaju in this wonderful, wonderful Kirtane that we will present.
all know the background story that Kaikeyi had asked for a boon that Rama should go on an exile to the forest. Her intent was not just to send Rama away to have a happy life in the forest. The unwritten rule while in exile to the forest is that one has to be bereft of all comforts. The other important rule is that you cannot stay in the same location for a long period of time during an exile. So during the 14 years, Rama stayed in every place for a few months and then moved on to another. The inner reason for Rama's shifting places is also to increase the scope of reach in terms of providing enlightenment, enlightenment that he can deliver to the different people in different locations. Just like life is very impermanent, the stay should also be not permanent. The fact that Rama has come in a human form to give enlightenment is described by Sri Tyagaraja in this beautiful Kriti Manavi Alakim and he describes it in the Charanam Karma Kanda Matta Just to describe the words Seeing the people suffer as wanderers in the forest of worldly existence attracted by the opinions as contained in the section of Vedas Lord Rama has embodied as a human being exemplified by the right conduct. That's what the Charanam says. Paramatma had at the age of 24. 
Now from the 25th year on to about 38 years, the 13 years is what is covered in Aranya Kandam and the 14th year moves on to the next Kandam. Rama in this 13 years sees the hermitages of Rishis and Rama personally wants to serve at the lotus feet of every one of these Rishis. He also has the responsibility to actually protect each one of these Rishis. We see in today's world, people take on responsibilities and brush it off saying, I'm not responsible for it anymore. Technically, Rama was not the king anymore. He had walked out to the forest. He does not actually have to still hold on to the responsibility to protect the rishis. But just like a mother protects the child at any point in time, Rama had the responsibility and he took up the responsibility to protect the rishis. Rama is also compared to a parijata briksha, wish yielding creeper. The only Parijata Vriksha that can grant Moksha is Paramatma and that Paramatma here is Rama. So God must himself come down and grant Moksha to these deserving souls, to these Rishis. And that's what he did, is came down and came to the forest. All of us enjoy this song, Moksha Mugadada. It's important to begin with this song in this journey of moksha deliverance that Rama is up to. In this world, emancipation or moksha is available to those who become jivan muktulu through devotion to you, Rama. That's what moksha mugalada says. It is no surprise that this very song has always brought tears to our eyes because of the tune, because of the sangadis that people deliver. But today, I hope the story and the meaning will bring more of a sentiment to this people.
Rama goes to the hermitage of Rishi, Sharabhanga, and Sharabhanga says, Oh Rama, I am waiting on this long, so I can see you and then go to Brahmaloka. He was hospitable to Rama, Sita and Lakshmana, and then walked into the fire. In the meanwhile, all the rishis in the forest come and meet Rama with just one request. They were unable to perform the penance because of the demons. So they needed liberation from the demons. Now Rama could potentially spend the entire 14 years in the same location and solve all the different problems. But as we had mentioned earlier, in an exile, one should not stay in one location for too long. However, hearing this request from the Rishis, in order to convince Rama to save the Rishis, she tells him a story, something that she learned from her father. She says, there was once a Rishi who was performing penance in his hermitage. The Devas came and gave him a sword to look after while they were going to be away. The sword was put, put aside, but the Rishi kept looking at it every once in a while. He starts playing with the sword. You play with the sword, you kill somebody, typically. So this man, man of austerities, Rishi, who had been given the responsibility to take care of the sword, finally becomes a person who starts killing animals because he is playing with the sword. With this story, Sita requests Rama to help the Rishis by saving them from the demons, kill the demons, so the Rishis don't get aggressive and start becoming demons. So this kind of a thing comes for the good and the bad. So if you keep looking at somebody who is doing bad things, you will start doing bad things. Here I'd like to reference that somebody like a Shubhapriya and family who started Lotus, started doing good things constantly and the rest of them followed and they are doing it exactly like that today. is a reference to this conversation I talked about between Sita and Rama. Saint Pyagaraja says, Rama and Sita in Aranyakanda talk about protecting the ascetics of Dandakaranya from the demons in the song Vanaja Nayanudani.
in our in arandakanam after killing virada rama advances to the hermitages of maharishis like agastya agastya maharishis greatness in annihilating forces like vatapi is well known to all of us here also agastya is very hospitable to sri rama sita and lakshmana and after having given the bow and sword to rama he also praises sita she is the personification of chastity good character great knowledge her exuberance her demeanor her greatness is so much that she can be equated to rishi vashishta's wife arundhati here in this kriti sari evare tyagaraja gives credit to sita who is your equal in your devotion to your husband realizing that rama would face trials and tribulations in the jungle you provided him with royal comforts wherever he moved so you see the reference that the song is not just a song praising sita but praising sita for the fact that she chose to follow rama during his exile having sita by his side was his only saving grace in that journey so let's sing in praise of sita सरियोवरे श्री जानकी सरियोवरे
as they received the benedictions from Agastya, Agastya Maharishi, and come out of his hermitage, they see a vulture that introduces himself as Jatayu, the brother of Sampadi. You will experience the greatness of Jatayu just a little later in the story when Ravana comes as a sannyasi. Moving on next is the story of Kakasura, son of Indra, who was flying in the form of a crow over Chitrakuta and he noticed the divine couple. Rama was resting his head on the lap of Mata Sita and Kakasura came in the form of a crow and scratched Mata Sita. The painful cry of Sita woke up Sri Rama immediately and he realized that the crow was Kakasura. He took up a sharp blade of grass, infused it with some Brahmastra and hurled it on Kakasura. Fearing for his life, Kakasura flew all over the world but the divine arrow followed him all over. Trimurtis, Devas, Saints, no one could protect Kakasura. Finally, he took refuge at the feet of Sri Rama. And we all know that the Brahmastra can never go waste. So, it hit the right eye of Kakasura. This incident is very beautifully covered in the Tyagaraja Kriti. E Ramuni Namitino. And the meaning goes Which Rama have I been faithful to? With what flowers have I worshipped him? Isn't he the subjugator of arrogance of his devotees' enemies? Isn't he the one who set aside his compassion? and blinded one eye of the crow demon Kakasura. This Kakasura who injured Sita, because of compassion, he only injured his right eye.
continuing on with the story they were in the forest experiencing intense winter season lakshmana at that point given that there are no comforts and they are in the forest it still makes him think about his brother he wonders how bharata would be experiencing this extreme cold condition you all know that the citizens of ayodhya they knew that bharata was not the ultimate cause for rama to go to the forest but still they had some disappointment in bharata so the treatment to bharata from the citizens of ayodhya was not very cordial in those 14 years so in order to escape from the slander from citizens of ayodhya bharata would go very early in the morning to the sarayu river he had given up all his pleasures and he was devoted completely to rama what rama and i try to show here is the kind of bond between the brothers bharata is in the forest he is sorry uh, lakshmana is in the forest suffering fighting battles but he is thinking about bharata bharata is praying and thinking only about rama while he is there so it kind of shows the bond and also for rama the perfect life for the perfect picture and happiness is only when he is with all four of his brothers <laughs> rama was agonizing and missing bharata along with lakshmana in life don't know how many of you know tamil there is an irugodugal thing you have a problem you agonize over it you cry over it a bigger problem comes your way that problem becomes easy so he was agonizing over his brother suffering in the cold now the next problem came he forgot about the cold and that problem is none other than surpanaka <clears throat> every step of hers every bit of her body was full of vengeance <clears throat> is enamored by rama's beauty she has probably never seen a personification of such blemishless beauty in life ever have we seen it no seeing rama she fell for rama we can only imagine surpanaka's flight <coughs> by enjoying the description of rama's beauty in the tyagaraja kriti mohana rama the kriti says o rama of irresistible charm and beauty i long to listen to your sweet conversation pray talk to me with your sweet voice i am overwhelmed with love for you the glory of your incarnation has been graciously born as animals birds monkeys in the mountains to have ecstatic darshan of you for a long time o rama with the charming form who gives away the boons says tyagaraja in this kriti now for a moment if tyagaraja is describing the beauty in this form and surpana ka actually had a chance to see that beauty in person we can imagine her flight right having gone through ramayana even we should learn some good lessons we should not always say bad things about people so surpana ka also if it's that kind of beauty nobody is exempt from falling in love so with that mohana rama mukha
should marry her. While all this commotion was happening outside the hermitage, 
Sita comes out. This is a typical example of what you call adding fuel to the fire. Right? She sees Sita's golden body. She now understands that this lady is the very reason Rama is keeping away from me. So then she vows before Rama that she will kill her in front of Rama's eyes. She starts running at lightning speed towards Sita. Now it's high time Rama punished her. Rama just has to think, Lakshmana will do it. Lakshmana goes in super lightning speed, catches hold of Surpanaka, takes an arrow and chops her nose off. Overconfidence, desiring for unnecessary things, these things are bad for humans. That's what they're trying to show. She desired for Rama, Surpanaka. She lost her nose. Let's keep it in mind next time we desire for something we don't deserve. Right? In the following song, Saint Tyagaraja expresses this situation of Surpanaka losing her nose because of desiring something she did not deserve. <coughs> with Sita's condition and focus. As I told you early on that Aranyakandam is one such where there are no songs made just for Aranyakandam. There are references in different kritis and the references are made uh, with different, uh, with, with either the hero Rama, the heroine Sita or any of the other characters. In this song, the reference is for the same story but in light of Sita. Adigi Sukhamu. Sita, who had to forsake the pleasures of the palace and live, enduring all these inconveniences, O oh, destroyer of Asuras and Surpanaka, because she expressed her love for you and got her nose snipped off, O oh, Rama, Adigi Sukhamu. Ashra <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
approached Ravana. First, 14 demons were sent, but Rama defeated them with no effort. Surpanaka asks Ravana to send an army to go punish Rama and Sita. And this army comes from Ravana and Kara, a cousin of Ravana. <coughs> Rama is now confronted with an army and Rama asks Lakshmana to take Sita to the hill and watch the battle from the hill even though Lakshmana offers to come and help. Now, Rama is Paramatma, so what is the doubt? He defeated the army. And he turned towards Sita with a wounded body. Immediately Sita embraces him. The reference here is that of a mother embracing a child because the child did something great by saving the rishis. In one of the charanams, in the most famous Pancharatna Kirtane, Jagadananda Karaka, Sri Tyagaraja praises Rama as a savior of rishis and a slayer of demons and the consort of Janaki. So, all these things, Rama killing the demons single-handedly, coming, Sita embracing Rama, all that together in one charanam, Jagadananda Karaka. And the meaning goes, O Lord, born to the king Dashrata, O Lord, ever intent on looking after the welfare of those who depend on you, O destroyer of demons, Kara, Virada, Ravana, Ravana not yet in the story, but Tyagaraja didn't write it only for this kingdom, so it shows up. A Lord who enthralls the minds of sages, O Lord who causes joy to the world, Hey, you consort of Janaki, in Jagada Nanda Karaka. Purana Purushan Riparatma Jashita Rama. 
again tyagaraja refers to maricha story in various songs this is the only topic in which i think we had so many songs that we had to argue to put the best song in place the choice of the song is also because it's something that's not heard that frequently and we thought that it it's a good idea to present songs that we don't hear all the time <coughs> song is padalika dheera <laughs> having gone to the forest with sita the lotus eyed rama having slayed maricha the one in the garb of a deer Lakshmana should rush to his aid. Lakshmana tried to assure her that Rama was invincible 
and that it was best if he obeyed Rama's order to protect her. On the verge of hysterics, Sita insisted that it was not she but the Lord who needed Lakshmana's help. After drawing a protective circle, he stipulated that she was not to go outside the circle. Rama now goes out to help, sorry, Lakshmana now goes out to help Rama. Ravana, who found her alone and unprotected, appeared in the guise of an ascetic, requesting Sita for arms. Unaware of this devious plan, Mother Sita left the protection circle and was forcibly carried away by Rama. Sita cries asking Rama to protect her. And this is aptly covered in the Tyagaraja Kriti, Mundu Venukar. O Raghunandana, guard me from the sides, from the front and the rear. Destroyers like Mura and Thara are after me. Come soon. I have not seen anyone more beautiful than you. Please help me, says Sita. Rama may be walking around this area 
and the monkey is seated on the top of the cliff will point to Rama the direction that Ravana has taken her. Looking at all of those animals with hope and possibility, Sita throws her jewelry at them. Rara Rama, of course, was heard by Rama. And on the way, he also meets Lakshmana, who comes looking for Rama upon Sita's um, wishes. Now, Rama and Lakshmana together go out to see how Sita is doing. They run towards Panchavati to just find fruits that have been meant to be arms for the, uh, the saints scattered all over. Rama now knows that Sita is, no, is not here and she is gone. And he agonizes over it. But Lakshmana brings him back into focus. And now they start walking towards, uh, walking, to, walking to find Sita in search of her. That's when they spot the dying bird, Jatayi. If you remember, while they were getting the blessings of Agastya Maharishi, they already had met Jatayu once. And Jatayu had mentioned to them that he is known to Dashrata and he is like a father to Sita. So as mentioned of this unique friendship with Dashrata, he said that he tried to protect Sita, but Ravana took her away. He said, I am going to die now, but I am sure that this Ravana who abducted Sita is definitely going to be punished by Rama. Rama immediately embraces Jatayu and, he, and Jatayu out of love for Rama says, Sita will be back to you soon. Rama, even though he is a Paramatma, he is in a human form there and he wonders how am I going to find Sita? That is when Jatayu makes a mention to go make friends with Sugriva to help him bring Sita back. We are also looking here at the dying bird Jatayu asking for moksha. Jatayu is definitely one of the lesser sung heroes in this story who sacrifices his life Jatayu attains moksha in Rama's hands. Again, this is something that is captured in multiple kirtanes. But we are going to choose a famous one that everybody has had and you will remember it when you hear it next time. Kanakana Ruchira. It gives immense pleasure to see the Lord that wears the sandal tilak on his forehead and gives salvation to the dutiful warrior Jatayu. Did you see a woman 
cry for help. He says, I didn't see any woman being taken away or crying for help. Rama says that now that he has been suffering, he will die in a few minutes. And again, in his classical way, he wants to perform the last rites for Kabanda too. They move forward in the journey to strike a chord with Sugriva. It is then that Rama and Lakshmana cross the hermitage of Matanga Maharishi. <gasps> Rama and Lakshmana, upon reaching the hermitage of Matanga Maharishi, Shabari welcomes them with all humility. She says, all the penance that I have performed has rectified today, O Rama. Rama also understands from her that Matanga Maharishi, her Acharya, had asked her to wait till Rama comes so that she can attain moksha and go to Vaikunta. This is the incident popularly known where Shabari offers fruits which is seen as an epitome of bhakti. Shabari collects fruits, preserves them and then gives it to Rama. Rama says, Shabari, I am extremely happy to have met a student as you who followed the wishes of your, ma of your teacher. And then Shabari says, I have served you with utmost dev devotion. Please give me moksha. I will leave this place. And then she goes into a blazing fire. <laughs> this is one of my definitely most favorite compositions in Mukhari covering Sabari Moksha. I didn't know the story in detail, but I would still shed tears every time I hear this. And now it's only going to be more difficult to hear it without shedding tears. Anthony Ney. In one of the most moving pieces, Tyagaraja pays his homage to the woman from the hunter clan who had the good fortune to attain moksha in Rama's hands. She had the unique privilege of feasting her eyes on the divine form of Lord, offering him sweet fruits that she had collected and she had worshipped his feet to her heart's content, attaining freedom from the cycle of birth and death, moksha.
As we come towards the end of these 13 years, end of this presentation, Saurashram is an apt end to the series of songs we have presented here. And this particular song, it's such a unique, beautiful composition for its poetic excellence. And also, it's almost considered to be a condensed Ramayana. We will sing the two charanams that refer to Aranyakandam. And in this song, the meaning goes, When will I see the feet that marched with Vishwamitra? When will I see the feet that brought Vimochana to Ahalya? When do I see the foot that pressed down the Shiva Dhanus at the wedding? When will I see the hands which tied the Mangal Sutra to Sita? When will I see the hands which took the strength of Par Parashurama? When will I see the hands which killed Virada? And when will I see the hands which gave Abhaya to the Rishis in the forest? Vinayamu Nanu <coughs>
to righteousness remains steadfast throughout this exile overall aranya kandam is rich and profound as a chapter in ramayana filled with adventure I'm so happy to see so many little children i hope you saw the adventure moral dilemmas we all face that all the adults and timeless wisdom that continues to resonate with readers across generations ours was a humble attempt to take a mountain of material and condense it into 90 minutes kurvi tarela pananga nu solva something like that enjoyed singing together and you could see that not all of us were singing all songs short duration we did divide and conquer i hope you enjoyed the experience of researching this material and the relevance of aranya kandam in ramayana and more importantly in our our lives thank you very much for being here and encouraging us Ma, you said divide and conquer. What we in the audience heard was unify and conquer and conquer. इधर ना क्या कर चल रहे हैं रुम्मा आसे और न बदल. Like you said, इधर ना we are really asking you know enormous things from you for a whole like you said 13 years, 90 minutes ला present पन्नर दे. is really a very hard task i have an ask of every child in this audience so many netflix series come up what can be a better netflix series than arani kaadla i would be binge watching it with the music with the storytelling and if we can have a netflix series that we are glued to with amazing voice like morgan freeman pravina ma we need one with you Ninety <laughs> minutes like the part on on us, starting from a Deva Manohari to two grand Pancharatnams that we really hope, like you know, they presented today and said next time when you hear that Pancharatnam, I know when I hear this Pancharatnam, the the you know the two Pancharatnams will stand out even more. Going into you know rare ragams like Vakula Bharanam in this. right going into many compositions even two madhyamavatis but really showcasing very different flavors of madhyamavati in the context of what they are presenting many compositions in deshadi talam mr tyagaraja swami had absolutely a mastery in his composition but many compositions in mishra chapu talam oru nimisha madla bore adikkara madri illama Though there was so much of Mishra Chapu's Adi Talam, Inda Talam, Andar Ragam, but the way they connected it, wove it into a, stu- into a story, that needs an enormous amount of effort. Each of them is a busy teacher, a busy professional. The fact that they came together to present such an educational opportunity to us. we as lotus are absolutely grateful to you one of the big you know big aase of lotus vision is a very big word and the area ellarume loosely every everybody seems to have a vision for something aase of lotus is that how do we get better as rasikas how do we get better at the rasikatvam of music chetas is the whole inspiration behind that and you elevated us today your music elevated us today in the addition to that i'll just say my parents are in the audience sitting in the back they were not well but they came today and i really know what made that made me realize is once a parent always a parent as they are singing vaadera devamuvanasa my mother is looking at me and saying 
when you were 10 years old, you learnt it. Do you still remember that? <laughs> As every composition, right, from Evari Kayavataramu Deva Manohari, the first one, to Savarashtra, my father is looking at me from there and saying, Ava Guru, Apriyeda Vascharparanda Patek. Because every, con every song that was rendered was not accompanied on the, on the percussion and violin, but it was played with the same Sangatis, if you heard, on the rhythm and the violin. Lifelong learning, let's pursue that. That is our asay. And we are so, so, so grateful that you simplify our journey of learning. And we are so grateful to each one of you for making our journeys so memorable and beautiful. On behalf of Lotus, the Nipa Risa team, I take the opportunity to humbly say thank you for being here with us. And we will take a minute to honor you all. Namaskaram everyone. I was privileged to be part of the WhatsApp group where we didn't do anything percussion, just watching the action between among all of them. So much discussion, so many discussions. Amazing, amazing. Let's give a very, very big hand. Some were traveling here, there, traveling. They met during the lunchtime afterwards, just watching it, you know, and admiring. Thank you so much. Amazing commitment. Thank you. Present something for five minutes. Can we please? I'm going to repeat. English repeat. This is a very, very special thing here. I request everyone to stay here. Something specially for Lotus, done by somebody whom I'm going to call a Vagayakara. He's been composing also, apart from being a musician. Very unique new composition. I believe a new raga has been also composed here. So it's very, very special and unique for this occasion. My the amazing uh, uh, husband-wife duo. I'm going to put both of them together in a box. So please come stay here and enjoy. And it's for a very special occasion. We've done it to honor, if I may, 
Sunil Lama to honor the amazing Lotus organization and their volunteers. Please stay here, stay and enjoy this. All of you, please. Namaskar. Can we ask everybody in, everybody in the back to please settle down? I am going to say something that Ramesh Anna very eloquently said yesterday. He said we are all here to, to present on the stage but we are here to listen. So can we all please come down and join in the listening experience here. that is composed specifically for Lotus by it was composed by my dear husband Sri Asen Narasimhan This is our humble offering to Sangeeta Sharade Goddess Saraswati and through this Kriti we also want to express our sincere appreciation for the NIPA Visa team of Lotus. This Kriti is the Ragam Padma. The scale of the Ragam itself, the Sahityam of the Kriti, and the Chitteswaram will have many references to NIPA Visa, as you will hear. The Kriti is in the language, South Indian language of Canada. And I will request the composer himself to say a few words about the Ragam and the Kriti. Yes, thanks to uh, uh, my beloved wife, uh, Shubha and Ramesh Srinivasan, who has been our old friend long time friend in explaining the nuances. Uh, this idea I was playing for another uh, group uh, item last year which was uh, with Anu Sureshji and uh, I remember there was mention of Nipa Risa and I was kept on thinking how do we uh, really felicitate this uh, great team, how do we honor the great team they honor us all the time, but we have to honor them also. And I said, my mind said, we have to honor them forever. So the only way to honor them forever is by having the Nibarisa team, if you could please come in front. We are missing Shubhapriya Ji, but the Nibarisa 
and the P Purnima ji and the R Radha ji and Shubhapriya ji is missing. She is virtually here. I know that for sure. Mentally here. So Nipa is. I was thinking, what should I do? What should I do? But as Rama says, as Tyagaraja Swami and other uh, Purandaras or the great saints have said, everything happens when you keep thinking about Rama. So everybody knows the Raga Brindavana Saranga. Sari Mapani Sa Sari Pamari Sa. So I said, why don't we just take out the mind that? Madhyama Varjita Brindavana Saranga. That's what I think. <laughs> That's the Raga I envisioned when I was on stage. And then, well, I envisioned the Raga, but then you have to name it in an apt way. There is no other name other than Lotus Padma. That's how the Raga name is Padma. And once you do that, if you do the raga and then forget about it, it's not going to stay. For example, if uh, you know Bindu Malini raga was there and if Enta Muddha was not there, Bindu Malini would fade away, for example. Or Saramati, for example. So I said, I want to do a Kriti in that. It took me some time as it's not straightforward. New thing. So, and who else should I compose this on other than Sharade, who is the soul of uh, music and who bestows music to us. So, Sangeeta Sharade Visharade. And as my beloved wife Shubha mentioned, there are, uh, there are uh, uh, you know, things that uh, where you'll have uh, references to Niparisa, Niparisa coming in the Chitteswara. It's a regular composition which has Pallavi and Upalavi in Chitteswara. Charana by going back to Chitteswara again, like a regular composition. And one more, it was not a constraint, but it was a, a loving Rasika who wants to give back to the people who serve music. Every name in some form or the other is included in the composition. Whether it's Nanda, or whether it's Purnima, or whether it is uh, Radha, or whether it's Shubha. All the names are included along with Nipal. Please sit and enjoy and I found that there is no other better stage than to uh, samarpichify that if there is an English word, English word than at the lotus place and Shubhapriya, I requested Shubhapriya ji, she was more than happy to do that and who is more than apt to present it than Shubhaji. <laughs> Along with uh, Ramesh Singh and Please sit and listen, I hope you like it. Thank you. He has come dressed as Sharada too. So, um, the Arohana Pavarohana, one more time. Sadipa. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Very rarely there is a moment when you know that the purpose of music is much beyond you. Very rarely there are moments which remind you that music and emotion have a deep connection. Absolutely, absolutely in tears. Absolutely speechless. And I speak for my three siblings. Shubhapriya, Nandana, and Radama. Honestly, I'm not sure what we deserve out of this or not. No. But there is really no befitting tribute to Sharada Devi than this, I have to say. Khandipa. First, a mention for Narasimhanji. I don't know how many of you know here, he has composed Pallavi and on the 72 Melakartas. Almost in the process of. But the process, he says with humility, because it's a lifelong journey to create Melakartas of that repute and that quality. We really hope your Melakartas the 72 Melakartas become a huge book of publication, just like the books in the back from T.K. Govindarao Mama. 
we absolutely need that to be a presentation in itself. The composition is, you know, you very humbly dedicated it to Lotus. But I think the Raga Padma is a stellar. Pyagaraja Swami has this hallmark of having Ekakriti, Ekakriti Ragas. Right, if you are the Chitter and Jenny Pardon, Una, the Nada Tanumanism, Epirko, Adilendada, Katrinda Pardon. I hope to every artist takes this Raga Padma and learns from the, this compositions and build, builds that repertoire and performs it in many places. Because the Ragam is so beautiful, so, so wholesome in itself. And for Lotus 25th anniversary, we would love for this to be a presentation in itself because this ragam and this composition deserve that stage. Iniki Shubhapriyama is not here in person with us, but Shubhama, you more than made up for that. Because the Nipa Risa team cannot be there without you all, and you are that sa for us today. Every year, Ratna Shuru Kamada she presented it. The Nipa Risa team has many anchor notes. Everybody in, in the music fraternity knows this. Shajjama Millana Raga Mela. Madhima Varja Raga Mirkala, Pancha Varja Raga Mirkala, and Shajjama Varja Raga Mela. Maybe Chitta Ranjani is one of those, but still you need Aadhara Shajjama for knowing what the Shruti is, at least in my you know, little knowledge. But this is all the Adhara Shajja of Lotus, to be honest. You ground us. You give us purpose. You make Lotus the petals that we are today. And we humbly salute each one of you with tears in our eyes, with heart filled with gratitude. Cannot say how honored we are to be a part of this community, to be a part of your life. The fact that you thought about us in a musical way, we are truly humbled. And I can only say for the four of us, the Nipa Risa team, we are eternally grateful to you for the love you have given us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Namaskar. Thanks to Lotus for having asked us to speak a few words. Congratulations to Sushil Natsuma. And Shubha Narasimha. Umba Prasanta, very beautiful voice, ideal for the Sahari. Umba Sanitya and the Sahari Pemya Umba Prasanta. And if you have a first time, you will be able to do it. Romba clean our Vashkira, our the idea behind this whole thing is very commendable. Because number one, the Nariya new Ragams, the Lavangi, for example, I was thinking about it. How nobody heard about Lavangi for a long time, and now it's it's very common. So Padma is a very beautiful chosen Ragam name. And Shubhapriya, Priya, she was right next to the other Shubha because Surajipati Sa Lehe Kattu So the Sa was very much there. Nobody missed her. And beautiful, beautiful composition and the Vartagar and the lyrics was very ideal. And I don't have anything more to say. I'm not anybody to say about the technicality and all those things. But Shanti has a point. I think it will be rightly taken. And she will continue. Mridhanam is a part of the song. It's 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 a part of Piriya Bishiam, the technicality in the Kanaka, Naviya Teriam, Anna Puda, 
கணக்கு எங்கே வைக்கணுமோ அந்த தான் வைப்பார் அவர் ஏன்னா மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த சீனியர் மியூசிஷியன்ஸ் சொல்லக்கூடிய எல்லாம் கூட ஃபஸ்ட்டு சாய்ஸ் அவ ராமத்தன் இருக்கிறா கழுங்கோ அவர் இல்லைன்னா தான் மற்ற மிருதங்கிஸ்ட்டு அவன் அப்ரோச் பண்ணுவான் அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு ஸ்டேட்டஸ் அவர் மெயின்டைன் பண்ணார் ஏன்னா அவர்லாம் பெரிய 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 வித்வான்ஸ் அவரோட ரைட்டு லெஃப்ட்டு பேலன்ஸு அது என்ன ஆமாம் நாதபத்திர தான் கூப்பிடுவோம் ரைட் அண்ட் லெஃப்ட் பேலன்ஸு அவர் மாதிரி யாருமே கேட்டது கிடையாது அந்த பூமிக்கை கொடுத்து வாசிட்டு இருந்தாலே அதான் ஆதார சப்ஜம் முருதுன்றது லெஃப்ட் சைடு கலையவே கிடையாது அவரோட ஷோரும் போகவே போகாது ஏன்னா அடிச்சு அரைஞ்சு வாசிக்க மாட்டாரு தட் இஸ் பியூட்டி ஆஃப் வெல்லூர் ராமபுரத்தன் அவர் சாரோட ஸோ ரமேஷ் ஸ்ரீனிவாசன் இஸ் ட்ரூலி டார்ச் பேரர் ஆஃப் தட் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட் இயர் அட்டண்டட் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அரங்கேற்று that was also a very good you know uh, he is bringing a lot of young talents in this uh, community which is very good and so thank you thank you again for giving us this <laughs> word so naranji means a lot to us he is a passion in bay area eplo nana vasikona senior most mrudanga martis here means a lot to us inna vada senior most pinnadi nanna irukkaranga adutha inna madhyana avaroda amma i just want to share one uh, the thought of mine in the ivlo arahana oru kriti compose panni lotus neepa risa ke dedicate panni i wish all the students that come and perform here you can take this up as a prayer song since it is on devi sharada saraswati kadakshana ella kondalum paattu adrenda so if you can begin all the programs with that as a prayer song and all the kids can also learn நீங்கள் சொரம் படுத்தி நொட்டேஷன் போட்டு அவள் கொடுத்துருவா அவள் லோட்டஸ் வெப்சைட்லேயே அப்டேட் பண்ணிடுவா ஸோ குழந்தைகள்லாம் படுத்து கற்றுக்கலாம் ஸோ இன்வோகேஷன் அது மாதிரி எனக்கு அப்படி ஒரு ஆசை கொடுத்துருவான் ஸோ ஐம் சுவப்ரியா வில் அக்ரி வித் தேட் Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What a beautiful thought. In the game, we can finalize Lotus Aha. 25. We will begin with this. Because the Nala Swaram will be very difficult. The Palamukhle Krishna Sir has done it. It's not easy to do it. But it's not easy to do it. 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 It's also like one that connects all the notes in the middle. It's not easy to do it. 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 Especially in the instruments. So that's why I, you know it's a very beautiful nethiya ulga na message potu te ninga paathala theriyadu i said the very creative mind avrutha mudiyadu adhe mari ivan sonna mari pallavi avanga ella compose pannadala clean a notation the notation na avanukku venum ellarkum ena avan sondama ella ishtathukku paadi paadi irupa adanal note panni kuduthukena everybody can learn thank you so much thank you akka nanana na for the beautiful words you always bless us இன்னொரு ஆப்சர்வேஷன் நீங்க நிறைய அது பத்தி ஆப்சர்வேஷன்ஸும் யோ தாட் ப்ராசஸ் ஷேர் பண்ணினேன் அந்த வேர் தேர் இஸ் a good heart good things happen where there is saraswati kataksham ramar in the in your thought process many beautiful things happen and i don't know if it was intentional or not but there was mention to our spouses in the composition as well so i just wanted to say that shweta mani is a nanda anna's wife and so wanted to say that uh, that you know when we think about good things good things come to us it's a beautiful beautiful befitting tribute from the heart of all of us here thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for all of us thank you can we get the next team on stage and can we also have the lotus volunteers please to get the you know please get the mic mics ready the setup stage setup ready for that Yeah, I was here for a uh, ceremony. 